this feels weird this feels off and mostly it's because I haven't done a video for YouTube in so long I've been wanting to do this video for a while now I decided to make this video about some reflections that I had on self-help and in my life and for the things that I now know to be true for myself I wrote it down and yeah let's let's go and by the way if you're new here my name is Panda and you're watching Panda Circus um so this is my relationship with self-help and pretty much how I've been feeling about self-help and what I what are the good and bad outcomes of self-help in my life self-help has definitely made me a better student because without self-help before I didn't like to study I didn't like to read I didn't like to watch videos about bettering myself self-help came to make me a better student for sure but on the other hand it made me have bad thoughts about myself in the world of you can do it and you are the change I couldn't see any of that manifesting in myself I bought many books I read many many articles and needless to say I've watched many many videos on self-help I saw that as uh, my reality and I brought that to myself and with that I became very mean to myself using very bad words to describe myself I was dumb or there's definitely something that I can't see or I just I just became my biggest enemy I struggle a lot to focus in my life I started many 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 projects and the reality is that I am definitely not a finisher unfortunately and it sucks to say it I fall in love with things quickly I am I'm a, I'm a very expressive guy and I am a very intense guy. By reading self-help and looking for the answer in the next article or the book that promised me a breakthrough, I started losing patience with myself. I stopped believing myself and the worst part of it is that I lost my touch with my creativity and I lost interest for a lot of things. As I was saying, I became my biggest enemy. I got very depressed with it. I blamed that everything on myself in an evil way. How can you be so lazy? How can you not understand this? I must be stupid. And the list goes on. I stopped talking to my friends. I stopped talking to my family. I didn't ask for help. I gave up on many, many things. Many times, actually. In my head, I fantasized and painted a picture of dying or disappearing and how much better it would be if I if that pain just went away I didn't want to feel that pain anymore I tried promising the internet that I was going to do so many things a shreddy month waking up early at 5 a.m. every day go to the gym twice a day every week for some reason I have this thing that I need to tell people that I'm doing something and I think I need that validation from people but I think this is a really good realization for myself so I can become a better me there's one thing that I wanted to share with you guys that I've been doing and it's really 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 helped me to get some creativity back into my life and to see some colors again more in a literal literal way is that I bought pens multicolored pens uh, that are 12 colors over here of pens okay and I bought this because I love colors I love dressing in a colorful way I like colorful socks clothes and everything as you can see this has a lot of color and the reason I bought this is because I wanted to put some more color in my things so this is my business notebook and I write everything here with a lot of colors look at this for me it looks much more beautiful and it actually makes me like more focused as well because every time I change color I, I think of something that I wanted to do creatively and I think that has helped me a lot the reason I want to share this with you is because like when I was a kid I didn't have the purchasing power that I have right now as an adult okay and when I was a kid I wanted to have 12 different color pants I thought that that was amazing but unfortunately we didn't have the money to afford that it's something that I really wanted when I was a kid and it really makes me happy now sometimes there are something that you can purchase that you didn't have that definitely helps you feel better about yourself your inner child like for example if you always wanted a Super Nintendo or a PlayStation 1 
go buy it now. It's cheap now. You can you can buy it, and it definitely makes that child, your inner child, feel better. Uh, I wanted to say this. I want to come back to the YouTube community. I want to do more videos about circuits. And for a long, long, long time, I have lost the touch with my inner circus guy, with my inner circus kid. I want to bring it back, and I am going to more circus lessons now that I'm here in Brazil. I have definitely made more time for me to go and do the things that I want, to exercise more, to eat healthier. As soon as I got here in Brazil, I started gaining weight. From the videos that you saw me last to here, I probably put some serious like 16 to 18 pounds, 8 to 9 kilos. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I am doing my best now to reduce my weight and not pressure, not putting pressure on myself on looks or anything. But I will say that that pressure still exists and it's really hard to go away but i've been working on it and i've been accepting myself at least i've been trying to accept myself the way that i am now and accepting that this change was necessary for me and this is just a part of my life and that if i want to change things i have to see it as a positive outcome and i am the person that can make that change i want this to become a big community that we can share vulnerability and being just good wholesome human beings i love humans i love helping people and i love that helping people really helps me to be the better version of myself i'm gonna keep doing videos like this and i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you guys comment something about the comment something over here down here in the comment section down below and if you've ever felt like that, I feel like the world's going through a massive depression now because of the coronavirus and everything. We never, we never needed humans so much as we do need now. And I need you. You need your friends. You need your family. If you're going through a situation that is similar, look for help. Um, I'm, I looked for therapy and I feel like it's going to help me a lot. And I seek the help of my friends, seek the help of my family and my girlfriend. And I think that we long for human connection. Either you are introvert or extrovert. We long for deep, meaningful connections. So if you feel this way, somehow I urge you to reach out for your community and I want you to Ask your friends to ask you out for a walk. Wear your mask. Don't be fucking stupid. Wear your mask. But reach to your friends and ask them to, to, to hang out. To do like things like in good old days and old times. Connection is good. Friends are good. Family is good. Uh, but what's even better is being yourself and accepting yourself and I had a lot a hard time with that and I blame my very toxic connection with self-help and now I turned around to being the meanest person I could be with myself and being good with other people and lying to myself about goals and dreams that I did not want so be true to yourself be vulnerable and be honest uh, and it's not easy but it's definitely worth it thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one thank you bye bye